So uh, this is Cam Studio. It's a uh, free uh, screen recorder. It uh, is um, uh, very good and uh, small size, small size program, so easy to use. And uh, let me show you how uh, how this works. So I have Cam Studio running right now, and uh, it's actually recording itself, which is sort of unusual. By the way, a uh, style note is that the desktop here. Uh, I've uh, hidden all the desktop icons by right clicking you go to view and say uncheck the option that says show desktop icons and that gives you a much nicer looking desktop you can if you have a two uh, two monitor system you can do cam studio in the second monitor and you'll get the same effect just so you know so cam studio allows you to to uh, take a screen capture uh, I'm capturing on a 1280 by 720 dimensions, which is uh, a standard 4 by 3, I think, aspect ratio is the same ratio that's used by YouTube, I believe. So let's minimize that, and let's see what uh, will work. Let's see. So I have a SketchUp uh, session here that I'm running. I will open up uh, my orbit tool rotate this way, rotate that way, um, I'll make a rectangle, uh, put a circle on top of it, uh, push it upwards, rotate again, rotate back, zoom in, zoom back, and so that's, that's a, a SketchUp session um, running under Cam Studio. So where do you get this software? I have already prepared my uh, browser and also uh, set the dimensions of the browser to pretty much uh, be in the same location as my capture screen. Uh, this is camstudio.org. Probably on a small uh, YouTube size video you would have a the uh, URL. Uh, there are a couple ways to uh, make this work. One is to have a handy notepad window running. And so under notepad uh, which I can uh, bring to the front. It has the URL here, campstudio.org. And then uh, the other thing is that, uh, let's see now, uh, some information about it, uh, a link to download the program. There's also a link to download what they call the lossless codec. This is a video codec that will um, allow you to uh, record your video and then save it with uh, no compression whatsoever. It gives you an absolutely humongous video file. The idea being that it captures everything and so you get all the detail without any compression artifact. Then you can do your post-processing with a video editor and then you can compress the file and uh, uh, um, you know, save it to whatever, whatever uh, uh, compression method you want. So it's often a good idea to, uh, to download and install both of these. Let's see. I also have a link to Portable Apps Cam Studio Portable. Cam Studio Portable is uh, here. We go. PortableS.com Apps Utilities Cam Studio Portable. This is a uh, uh, Cam Studio which has been put into a launcher, uh, allowing you to run it out of a uh, flash drive. Um, it is possible to take the Cam Studio program files and just run it out of a flash drive, but there are some issues with doing it that way. The Portal app is kind of nice, and uh, I certainly do carry a carry a copy of this for myself. Another portable app that's good when you're doing screencasts is Virtual Magnifying Glass. There it is, Apps Accessibility Virtual Magnifying Glass. This is a program which we'll put a little thing on the uh, in the tool tray and uh, it gives you a rectangular magnifying glass there it is so you can slightly magnify parts of the screen uh, so if you're running a program and you're doing a screencast of it and you want to show somebody uh, this is what the menu looks like uh, this is what uh, this is the detail of um, uh, the words in some particular place, something like that. Virtual magnifying glass is a good way to quickly show these details on the fly. If you click the mouse, then it disappears. 
So it's not interactive, but it is a good way to get a good view of of uh, you know of small things. And I really highly recommend it when you're doing uh, doing screen casting because it does make it so you don't need to uh, uh, to do a zoom in zoom out kind of thing uh, using a video editing software. So those are the programs that I recommend for screen casting. Camp Studio is very nice. Uh, it's been around for a long time and lots of people recommend it. So now I'm going to shut down my Cam Studio session by hitting stop and it will save the uh, video as an AVI in this case using uh, MS Video 1 codec and then I'll uh, upload it somewhere so you can view it.